Real-world objects are fairly complicated. Often, their virtual representations are greatly simplified. When we compare this stable model from Google Warehouse to its real-world counterpart, we immediately notice that many details are missing. These details are what make designing fabricable objects very difficult for casual users. In this work, we present a modeling tool that leverages information from a collection of fabricable designs in order to enable casual users to model and build real-world objects. With the help of design experts, we have built a collection of fabricable models that are detailed up to individual screws. The similarly simple design actually contains over 200 parts, which is yet another example of how complex fabricable designs are. Every component in these designs is associated to an item in an items catalog. This means that every design in our collection is directly fabricable. To allow structure preserving manipulations, we automatically convert the designs in our collection to hierarchical parametrized templates. Our template model takes into account global relationships, such as symmetries and articulation consistencies. It is also not restricted to fixed topologies, allowing regular patterns to be rescaled. Notice how the number and position of connectors changes as the template parameters vary. Our modeling tool is based on template manipulation and composition. We allow users to explore the space of template variations using different levels of the template hierarchy. During manipulation, active elements of the hierarchy are shown in full color, while other elements are semi-transparent. For composition, we first assist the users by snapping drag components onto the working model. The user can continue to reposition and rescale the model until she is satisfied with the snap configuration. For articulated parts, snapping takes into account multiple rust poses, guaranteeing, for example, that these doors align when closed. Once a part is positioned, the user invokes a method that brings in connecting elements to the design by exploring the template database. Notice how for a wooden tabletop, corner brackets are automatically brought in to connect the top to the legs, while for a glass top, a whole support structure for the glass is automatically added. Adding connections create additional constraints that can shift the snapping positions. In this case, when the shelf is positioned and snapped to the bottom part of the table, it is raised above the ground to leave room for L brackets when actually connected. We incorporate in our system a stability analysis evaluation that warns the user if the design model is unstable. Next, we illustrate a full modeling session. The output of our system is a comprehensive bill of materials that can be directly used for fabrication. Here are some additional results. One of the main advantages of using a data-driven approach is its generality. Notice how the same method that creates tables and cabinets can also be used on go-karts.